Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you what's new in the iOS 26.1 beta 4 for all of your supported devices. There are at least six new changes, which I will discuss one by one. Now, as you can see, I have this iPhone SE 2, which is running iOS 26.1 beta 4. The first update is the new function or feature to turn off the slide feature to turn on the camera while you are on the lock screen. You can simply turn it off by going to settings, then head to camera, scroll, and you will see this brand new toggle, lock screen swipe to open camera. You can simply turn it off. And now if you lock your device, you can't accidentally slide to open camera. The second change is the new option to go from clear to tinted for your liquid glass UI. To experience it, you can simply go to settings, then go to display and brightness. And here you can see we have liquid glass. It is on clear by default. If you hit it, you can switch between clear and tinted. If you select tinted, it will reduce the transparency. Just to compare, if you open the app store, you can see the bar is see-through, it is clear. Now, if you go to settings and simply toggle it to tinted, now if you check, the bar is now more contrasted and it is not see-through. The display zoom now reflects the iOS 26 wallpaper. If you go to settings, go to display and brightness, scroll, you can see if you hit on display zoom, the wallpaper of iOS 26 is now reflected here instead of iOS 18. Regarding the phone app and haptics, you now have a new toggle. If you check out settings, scroll all the way down to apps, then go to phone, scroll. You can see that we have a new toggle called haptics so that if you want, you can turn off haptics when a call is picked or connected or dropped. We have some changes to the liquid glass glow. For example, if I open app store, you can check this menu, this menu bar and press and hold. You can see it now does not brighten everything in the background. So it is a bit tweaked now. Yes, the slide to stop toggle from iOS 26.1 beta 3 is up here also on beta 4. With iOS 26.1 beta 3 and lower, you will see that the Apple intelligence icon is in the center and you will see a beta tag beneath it or below it. Now with iOS 26.1 beta 4, you can see it is in the left and it seems to be out of beta. These are all the updates and changes I found with the iOS 26.1 beta 4. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.